uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session uh, so today we will be solving these two interesting easy but confusing interview question okay and uh, we have a problem regarding uh, like mosfet biasing okay so this is a circuit two circuit okay and there are like five options we can see and we need to find what is the uh, this v bias potential so that the mosfet is turned on okay <clears throat> Now, how we can go for the solution? So, actually, we will be solving the uh, second case first. Okay. So, this is more general circuit, right? We see often in our design. So, this circuit. Okay. Now, how you can solve that? So, we know that to turn on the MOSFET, the VGS must be greater equal to VTN for, for every NMOS, right? So, you can see that the VS is grounded, right? So, here VS is grounded. Now, our VG is nothing but V bias, right? So, this will be V bias. So, we can directly say that for this particular uh, MOSFET, uh, for the structure, the V bias must be greater than VTN, right? Okay. Now, so here for the second figure, the answer is B. The VG must be greater than V bias, right? But but here we have a uh, like deliver, deliberately put a current source to the drain, right? So so is this true? Actually, this this figure ensures that if this MOSFET is turned on, then the current is current should flow through this MOSFET as well because this is the ideal current source, right? So actually, we have to first ensure that this MOSFET is turned on. Okay, so there is a channel. Okay channel and this is turned on okay so that the current can flow through that branch right and we have to ensure that the vd okay so vd is also greater zero right because our s is zero so the vd must be greater zero okay so there are two conditions effectively but we are considering that the vd is always greater zero for this case okay so actually to to flow this on milliamp ideal current for through this MOSFET, we need V bias greater than VTN and VT greater than 0, okay, as our VS is 0 here, okay, so that it, it can turn down, okay, and uh, can flow through that, that current, okay, so we are not considering about the saturation condition and so on, we are just telling this MOSFET will be turned on if the V bias is greater than VTN and our VD is greater than 0, okay, so this is the, this is all for this circuit, okay, so actually, if you are delivering, let's say, 1 milliampere of current, but your V, let's say VTN is uh, 1 volt, okay, VTN is 1 volt and your V bias, let's say V bias is 0 0.5 volt, so this MOSFET is not going to work, okay, so this MOSFET cannot be turned on, okay, so actually we need some uh, V bias that is greater than 1 volt, okay, so let's say it is 1.1 volt, okay, let's say it is 1.5 volt, then the same amount of current will be flowing through that branch, okay, so if this is 2 volt V bias, that uh, and, and, let us say this voltage is 1.1 volt. Now, you will think that our uh, current ID is always uh, like proportionate to VGS minus VTN whole square. Now, what do you think, what do you think, which current should flow, flow through this device like this? This is the ideal current, right? So, it will try to push this current through this N MOSFET, okay? So, you will think what will be the case, like what will be the current ID, okay? Is it, is it will be like, is it, uh, uh, it, okay, let me write the equation. Or is it IREF only? Okay. So, you think what would be the current that will flow uh, through this uh, uh, through this MOSFET? Okay. This is the ID, the current through the MOSFET. Okay. Not the I reference. So, actually this, actually this is only valid for saturation condition, right? And this is valid for every, everything, like if the MOSFET is turned on, okay, so you can comment on that, okay, like uh, it is your responsibility, okay, I will, I will tell uh, this type of uh, problem in, in some other videos, okay, now come to the second problem, okay, so let me draw the picture, okay, let us 1 milliamps, okay, I did, had it VDD and here is V bias, now what do you think, what will be the thing here? So, you, you might think that will be the answer, 
you might think let that will be the answer actually this is not the answer okay like you cannot uh, like uh, see see the options and mark it correct it is not possible okay so we we think logically okay so now so we are deliberately putting a ideal current source through the node vs and vs to the ground okay now we need this v bias so you always always know that the vgs must be greater than the vtn and again we are telling vtn is on volt okay and let's say our vdd is 5 volt okay so now what do we think what will be the case so actually so so this is a inherently negative feedback circuit right everyone everyone confirm right let's say here we are increasing this vs by by some techniques okay so increasing this vs now what will be the uh, what will be the vgs so actually here vgs is decreasing if the vgs is decreasing then the id will be decreasing but here we have a constant current so it so the current through this vs to ground will be same always right because this is the ideal current so so let me draw some uh, let me draw a capacitor here okay let's say this is a parasitic cap and this is ic so now again we are increasing this voltage okay so the vsg will be decreasing then the current id will be decreasing so so we can see that id is nothing but ic plus vs right so now so so this current is so the current through this uh, the current is i difference is all fixed okay every time so now I, id is decreasing but this is fixed so now this ic has to be decrease or increase this will be decrease right so if this is decrease means this capacitor has initial charge so it will be discharging through that path path okay so now this node voltage must be decreasing so actually this is a inherently negative feedback circuit okay so this is called intrinsic intrinsic negative feedback okay with respect to voltage and current okay not voltage to voltage this is voltage to current or you can say the voltage to voltage as well because firstly we are we are increasing this voltage and eventually it is decreasing due to this ideal current on milliamps right so this capacitor will be decrease like discharge and this uh, uh, like voltage will be decreasing right so first we are increasing that voltage eventually it is decreasing okay due to the inherent negative feedback circuit okay or it is called inherent negative feedback okay feedback okay inherent negative feedback so now what do you think what will be the v bias so actually we can see that like any potential okay any potential at this v wired nose will ensure that the mosfet is turned on okay so if you let's say if you give v bias as on volt so now accordingly as this is the ideal current source it will like the mosfet property like the intrinsic negative feedback system will set vs is uh, let's say at some value let's say okay so our vtn is zero right so inherently our vs is set to be zero volt okay nearly zero volt so that the v bias minus vs greater than one volt okay now let's say this is minus five volt okay let's say v bias is now minus five volt so inherently this potential will go one threshold below this v bias let's say this is minus six volt okay so so this inherent negative feedback will set this voltage to the minus six volt okay so that the circuit uh, like uh, like operates in uh, turn down condition okay so actually this this current has to be passed through this mosfet as well because this is the ideal current source okay so for that the mosfet must be turned on okay so this inherent system will like this there will be some potential and this 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 node will see that potential and set its value accordingly so that it the mosfet can be turned on okay okay so now so so, so you will think so there must be a voltage okay this load cannot be floating okay so this node voltage cannot be floating like this cannot be floating like that okay so this node voltage cannot be floating like that it can be some voltage okay some voltage 0 volt minus 5 volt 10 volt or whatever accordingly that voltage this voltage will set accordingly so that this mosfet can be turned on and vgs becomes vtn okay so this is the answer okay i think this is a very good circuit and i can show you some simulations as well okay 
okay let me give one second okay and uh, and i i can show you some simulation result okay so you can see that so for this uh, left hand side picture you can see the vg is 0 volt okay so accordingly the vs becomes minus 1.8 volt and the circuit is working is uh, like working fine right and second picture in the middle picture we can see that the vg is or v by g is 6 volt okay and accordingly the vs becomes 1.12 volt and the circuit is working okay and the third picture uh, like right most picture our v bias is minus 5 volt and the vs is set accordingly so this is minus 5.676 volt and the circuit is working okay so this is the simulated result so forget about these regions and the all parameters in the cadence okay so actually the circuit behaves like that okay so now what will be our uh, options here so first for this first figure our on answer will be any potential okay so this will be the answer for the first fig and the second fig uh, for the second figure the answer will be the v bias will be greater than vtn okay so thank you everyone you can put your valuable feedback thank you